In this video, I am going to discuss about government budgets. A government budget is a financial plan for a specific time period, usually a fiscal year, which outlines the expected revenues and expenditures for the government. A budget is a financial plan for the future, not for the past, and it contains expected revenues and expenditures. Let me explain you what is a fiscal year and what is a calendar year. A fiscal year and a calendar year are both ways of organizing time for accounting and budgeting purposes. But they differ in their starting and ending dates. A fiscal year is a 12 month period used by a government or business for budgeting and financial reporting purposes. It can start on any date and is often different from the calendar year. For example, the fiscal year for the federal government in the United States starts on October 1st and ends on September 30th. A calendar year, on the other hand, is the 12-month period starting from January 1st and ending on December 31st. It is used for personal or household budgeting and for tax reporting purposes. The budget serves as a blueprint for how the government plans to allocate its resources, prioritize its spending and address its financial goals and obligations. These are the main sources of revenue for the government budget. Taxes. We already talked about this. This is the main revenue stream for the government. Governments collect taxes from individuals and businesses, including income tax, sales tax, property tax and others. Fees and fines. Governments charge fees for various services, such as licenses and permits, and fines for offenses such as traffic violations. All the other sources of revenue are not consistent. So when it comes to preparing budgets, Government consider the taxes, fees and fines, grants and subsidies. Governments receive grants and subsidies from other governments, foundations and organizations to support specific programs and initiatives. Investment income. Governments may earn interest from investments of their surplus funds. Natural resources royalties. Governments may earn royalties from the extraction of natural resources such as minerals, oils and gas. State-owned enterprises Governments may earn revenue from state-owned enterprises such as utilities, transportation systems and other businesses. Foreign aid Governments may receive foreign aid from other countries or international organizations. Now let's discuss why governments are borrowing money. Government borrowing refers to the practice of a government borrowing money from external sources such as individuals, financial institutions and or other governments to finance its expenses and investment needs. This can be done through the issuance of government bonds. This can be either treasury bills or treasury bonds which are debt securities that pay periodic interest and return the face value of the bond when it matures. There are three government budget fiscal positions, balance budget, fiscal deficit, fiscal surplus. Let's talk about the balance budget. A balance budget is a state of fiscal affairs in which government's total revenue is equal to its total expenditures over a specific period of time, typically a fiscal year. A balanced budget is generally seen as desirable because it ensures that the government's spending is funded by its own resources and does not result in an accumulation of debt. For example, government of a country has total revenue of $100 billion in a given fiscal year. During the same period, its total expenditures are also $100 billion. This means that the government's revenue and the expenditures are equal, resulting in a balanced budget. Balanced budgets are desirable for an economy. A fiscal deficit occurs when a government's total expenditures 
exceed its total revenue over a specific period of time, typically a fiscal year. This means that the government is spending more money than it is taking in and must borrow funds to cover the shortfall. The accumulation of debt can increase the government's overall financial obligations and impact its credit worthiness. For example, the government of a country has total revenue of $100 billion in a given fiscal year. During the same period, its total expenditures are $110 billion. This means that the government's expenditures exceed its revenue by $10 billion resulting in a fiscal deficit of $10 billion. Usually, a fiscal deficit has advantages and also disadvantages for an economy. Advantages where the withdrawal from the economy is less than the injections to the economy. That is why there is a fiscal deficit in the first place. On the other hand, government has to borrow money. This will be costly because the government has to pay interest for the borrowings. Fiscal surplus A fiscal surplus occurs when a government's total revenue exceeds its total expenditures over a specific period of time, typically a fiscal year. This means that the government is taking in more money than it is spending and has funds available to invest, pay down debt or save for future expenditures. For an example, government of a country has total revenue of $110 billion in a given fiscal year. During the same period, its total expenditures are $100 billion. This means that the government's revenue exceeds its expenditures by $10 billion, resulting in a fiscal surplus of $10 billion. Withdrawing money as taxes at a higher rate than spending on the economy. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.